Hi, we're going to do a review lesson about adding and subtracting fractions. So here we go. Adding and subtracting fractions. When we add or subtract fractions, we must first get a common denominator. In other words, the bottom number must be the same. So if we have one-third plus two-fifths, the denominators are three and five. The common denominator must be a multiple of both numbers and you've been working on multiples. If we look for the least common multiple, we do not have to do much reducing or simplifying to the answer. So watch the video on the next, on my next slide to help you. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at adding fractions with unlike denominators. For one half and two fifths, we could see that the denominators two and five are different. Our job is to make them the same. To do this, we use the LCD or least common denominator method. It's also called the LCM or least common multiple. So once again, we need to find an LCD, or least common denominator, for 2 and 5. The first thing we do is list the first 4 or 5 multiples for 2. Next, we list the first 4 or 5 multiples for 5. Once we do this, we look for common multiples. In this case, 10 would be a common multiple. Since it's also the least common multiple, 10 will be our LCD. If you couldn't find any common multiples, you'd keep multiplying out until you get a common multiple. Once we have our LCD, we can go ahead and make it the denominator for both fractions. Next, we take the 10, divide it by the 2 to get 5, take that 5, multiply it by 1 to get 5, and that will become our numerator for the top fraction. On the bottom, we take 10, divide it by 5 to get 2, take that 2, Multiply it by 2 to get 4, and that will be our numerator for the bottom fraction. Now all we do is add our numerators together to get 9 tenths, which is our final answer since it cannot be reduced any further. Now it's your turn to practice what you just learned. You can pause to work out the problem, then press play to get the answer. We're going to do... 2 thirds plus 1 sixth. Go ahead and try to work it out. If you did it correctly, you should have got an LCD of 6. We put 6 as the denominator for both fractions. For the top fraction, we take 6, divide it by 3 to get 2. We take that 2, multiply it by the 2 to get 4. We take 6, divide it by 6 to get 1. Take that 1, multiply it by 1 to get 1. Now all we do is add our numerators, 4 and 1, to get 5 over 6, which is our final answer. If you got this correct, give yourself a hand.
Okay, now you're going to watch a video on subtracting fractions, which is pretty much the same thing. Our problem is 7 eighths minus 3 fifths. Here we're subtracting fractions that have different denominators. We need a common denominator. This will be the smallest number that can be divided by both 8 and 5. We call this number the LCD, or least common denominator. In this case, our LCD is going to be 40, because 40, once again, is the smallest number that can be divided by both 8 and 5. So once we have our LCD, we take the top fraction, take our 40, divide it by 8 to get 5, take our 5, multiply it by 7 to get 35. We go down to our second fraction, take 40, divide it by 5 to get 8, take that 8, multiply it by 3 to get 24. Now all we do is subtract our numerator, so we're subtracting 24 from 35 to get 11, and we have a final answer of 11 fortieths. Now, I want you to complete the paper on adding and subtracting fractions. You can get it from the EdTech or the teacher. Thanks for watching.